It's almost it's, like it's your first time building a house. It's or almost something. like that. Almost like that. Yeah, I don't really know what I'm doing. So for the last, I don't know, two years or so, this has been the type of door that we've had. Just thin pieces of Luan on hinges, getting into the bedroom and the bathroom. And we need to transition to actual doors. And we have our painted barn doors there that are gonna slide across. So let's go get to work. And hopefully by the time we're done with this video, all the barn doors are up in the great room of our bull barn house. Unfortunately, this has just been one of those projects that's taken forever. You know, I started it almost two months ago, actually, and we've had, you know, out of town vacations and just stuff come up, family coming over for birthday parties. But it was a while ago that I actually painted these doors. And these door kits actually came from Lowe's. And I bought them two years ago when I found a sale online. They were kind of doing a closeout sale. And I bought these kits with the hardware and the track and everything for $14.97. It's ridiculous how much I, how little I paid for this. So that just means that I'm taking it and kind of modifying it to work for us. Um, where the track meets the wall above the door frames, it's kind of set out away from the wall a little bit. So we need to add some depth here. We need to add some length to it. So I'm gonna have to cut down some two by fours and add it to the bottom of the door and then paint it and just try to make it work the best we can. So yeah, the idea here is that we're not completely adding like a full secondary depth to this door. It would make it really heavy, um, it's just not necessary. But what we're going to do, we're going to take these ripped pieces of 2x4s and kind of picture frame the back side of it. So the front will still look the same on the great room side where most people will see it. And then on the back side, it'll be picture framed, it'll still be painted to match. Um, but actually, you know, the width of the door frame itself is still within this picture frame. So it's not like you're going to see this weird extra lumber, you know, when you close the door. So it should work out okay. It's not, I guess, the best way to do this. Um, if you were to retrofit a door opening to do a barn door in your house that's already existing, uh, it would be much easier to just put the rail on the wall. But in our case, I had to kind of pull things out a little bit. It's kind of complicated. So, like everything else in our pool barn house build, a lot of customizations, a lot of just making it work the best way we can. I'm not a builder, I'm not an expert by any means, so we're just making it work. So we just chopped down this full size 2x4 here, and this is going to go on the bottom of the door. Now, an issue is we've got the groove already made for this door to fit into the bottom guide piece that goes with all barn door kits. So we are gonna have to make that groove on this as well. And then we'll tack that in place and then we'll be able to paint it. Oh, hello B. And then we'll be able to paint it and get it to match the door as best as we can. With the doors modified and put together, I could return focus to the rail system that would hold all three of the doors up. The stock spacers to mount the rail needed to be cut down to allow for the correct wall spacing.
and the stock rails that came with the kit were too short because they were intended just for one singular door. So I found a 16 foot long steel bar and modified it myself with new holes and a fresh coat of paint. After the rail install, I finished assembling the roller mount door hardware that came stock with the kits, as well as the additional handles and locks I ordered from Amazon for the inside of the doors. Some last minute trim before installing the floor mounted door guides. Not wanting to drill too deep into our slab with radiant plumbing, I just drilled three quarter inch deep holes and secured the screws with super strength Gorilla Glue. All right, so another step closer to being finished with this. I don't want to call it a stupid house. It's a beautiful house. It's just stupid. That's just how you feel right it's now. It's just how I feel right now. I'm being real. Um, this project took, it spanned over several weeks. Yeah, it took you like a month. And you had told me originally it was going to be like a two day project at most. So that's just the story of this home build. So it's finally done from the painting, taking out the old doors, I had to do a little trim before we could put it in and paint new trim and they're done. Barn doors are finished. They look good. What do you think? They look amazing. A big thing that added time was that he ran the electrical at exactly the height that we needed to mount the doors. Yes, I did. So he had to put the doors higher, but then they were too short. So he added, are we not telling them this? No, tell them. Okay. Tell them all. So yeah. then he had to add wood on the bottom of each door so that it wouldn't be hanging off the ground by that much and it was because of where he ran the electrical yeah i, I it's was, almost like it's your first time building a house it's almost some, like that almost like that if it was anybody else retrofitting putting in barn doors you would just take the, the doors as they come in the kit from lowe's like i showed you and you just put them up but because yeah i don't really know what i'm doing i start stop start stop yeah. fix go back and it just, it kind of is what it is. But, but now it's done. It's done. And it looks amazing. Don picked out this color by himself. I love the way it turned out. I think it looks amazing. Yeah, we've got white and like grays and blacks in the kitchen and like obviously all the white shiplap everywhere. So this is like the only color that we really have going for us in yeah. the great room. So they feel pretty like good there. I mean, we had those stupid little thin Luan boards Dude. And, and we place. let the kids draw all over them because we were like oh it's only gonna be up for a couple months right yeah. we lived with those drawn on doors for several years but those are gone we have sturdy real doors in place so kids you're not allowed to draw on these okay never don't draw on these. never we've never lived in a place with barn doors before and i was i mean a lot of people online hate on barn doors and pocket doors about like not having privacy if it's not trimmed right and all that kind of stuff they close very snugly you can't see through a crack at all. Nope. And they feel very solid and they stop where you want them to and the little latches close exactly where we need them to. Yep. I'm super happy with them. The big project next is trimming the windows, I think, which is really exciting because we're tired of the morning light blinding us when we come out of the bedroom. It's so bright. So bright. So uh, we got the window trim coming up next. That should be a really fun video. Again, it'll probably take me many weeks to finish it all, but it'll get done eventually. 
and we're that much closer to finishing the inside of the house. Yay. If this is the first time you've watched one of our videos, we've got a whole playlist running for our pole barn house build. This video will go into that playlist so you can go back and watch from the very beginning, three years ago when this house was yep. being put into the ground with yep. the poles and everything. So uh, you can check that out on your way out and we'll see you guys on the next video. Well, I hope you're having fun.